Chairman Bankel and Thompson. Uh, Monday, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day, uh, we recognize, uh, we pause and salute uh, the, 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 the premier nation's premier peace officer, uh, Nobel Peace Prize winner as well, uh, Dr. King, uh, one of the most uh, important uh, civil rights leaders of the last century uh, in terms of the scope and the sweep of his life, uh, the things that he did, the speeches he gave, and how he paid the ultimate price, um, uh, took the, an assassin's bullet and died. But Dr. King gave so many speeches throughout his life. Uh, all his speeches have been consequential. Uh, one of my favorite was the letter from the Birmingham jail. Uh, which he handed perhaps the most important challenge to the clergy, not just black, uh, Tony Bill Knox, my guest here, not just black, but uh, clergy of all races. But every speech that Dr. King gave uh, was consequential, important in itself. And um, we're looking now at a speech he gave at Stanford University titled The Other America. And luckily, uh, some of these uh, speeches, in fact, the tapes do exist, mm -hmm. and they're now uh, all over uh, for people to watch and listen to. And we're bringing you excerpts of that, and we're analyzing Dr. King's speech, The Other America, in the context of The Other Detroit. Uh, Dr. King, uh, this place has been no stranger to the civil rights movement, the March on Woodward here, uh, Bill, uh, the I Have a Dream speech, uh, the draft given here as well. I think Detroit has been front and center of the American civil rights movement. It has, and it's important that we recognize that, but we also need to recognize that it's not all in the past. And the question today is, what will we do going forward to propagate that legacy? Will we simply leave it in the past and celebrate it once a year, or will we actually take action to make it a reality today in 2018? Uh, no question. 313-778-7600. Uh, 313-778-7600 is the number to call and chime in on this conversation. We are also live on social media as well on Facebook where you can join the conversation if you have a question or comment. Well, let's go back to that uh, speech in itself. Take a listen to uh, the uh, peace officer. 